Hello, welcome to Mastering Statistics. Here's a neat little section. We'll take a little bit of a diversion from what we've been doing so far. We're going to talk about types of errors uh, and classifying errors when we're doing hypothesis testing. Don't forget that the whole point of hypothesis testing and a large part of statistics is to look at a small group of people, even if it's thousands, this could be a small group compared to the population, and try to study it and then from that extrapolate what the entire population is doing. And the whole reason we do that is because it's really, uh, not impossible, but almost impossible to really ascertain everybody's data point in the whole population. If I'm studying everybody in Texas, that's millions of people, I can't go ask everybody. So I may study a couple thousand people and I hope that I get good data that's randomized and that's representative so that I can take that data and draw a conclusion and, and my hypothesis test is, is, is done. And we've been studying how to make these hypotheses and the alternate hypothesis and when to reject it and when to fail to reject it. But the fact of the matter remains is that you can always make, a, make an error. And what I mean by an error is that I can draw a conclusion to, for instance, reject an null hypothesis. And I can do that with 95% confidence. But then I might turn out to decide later on that that was the wrong decision, that maybe I shouldn't have rejected it. Um, maybe I was unlucky, maybe my sampling, maybe I just happened to ask the wrong people. You know, it's very possible if you're surveying people that come out of a grocery store, how much money did you spend today? I may be asking on a Friday when it's payday, everybody's got extra money and they're spending more money. I may have accidentally skewed my data when I did my sampling. So I may have committed an error, I may have drawn an incorrect conclusion from my hypothesis test. So as you go through your book and your class and your studies, or if you're a professional and you're doing this for a living, you're going to eventually read about types of errors in testing, in hypothesis testing. And there's really two main types. There's a type one error and a type two error. They're both very easy to understand, but I really want to write something down in order for you to understand that. Basically, when you do hypothesis testing, you're making a decision. And that decision um, is either to reject the null hypothesis or fail to reject it. There's really only two outcomes, right? And so let's write those down. Let's say that um, the null hypothesis is rejected. So I reject it. I did my test. I think the null hypothesis is wrong. I reject the null hypothesis. And I'm doing that because I've done a, I've done a test and I've, you know, I've, I've gotten the criteria in the test to reject that null hypothesis. Okay. So let me draw like a little table here. There's a couple of outcomes, okay? So let me draw something over here. There's a couple of outcomes. Now let's say that I actually rejected the null hypothesis. That's what my decision was. That's why I have decision written over here. But in actuality, let's say that the null hypothesis was, or let's say is, 